Hello, ACCA Advanced Audit and Assurance Student. So best of luck with your September 2024 exam. In this video, I'm going to be recapping what actually came up from what I've learned from my ACCA AAA student in September 2024 exam. Firstly, this exam was quite fair. It seems to me that there are two completely different sets of questions. Now, in the question one, version number one, in September exam, it seems to be the companies in the car industry. And the number one, analyzing the business risk, quite traditional, about eight marks. Number two, analyzing audit risk, 16 marks, which would be very, very standardized. Question three, the question one, part C, audit procedures on investments in associates, according to ICE number 28. So possibly you will need to demonstrate your understanding of whether or not the investor has significant influence over the investee. But number four is the ethical and professional considerations for accepting the internal audit work for the overseas subsidiaries. So make sure that you bring uh, the professional behavior integrity, these kinds of ethical standards in, and then to say to the examining team that whether or not we are able to do that. So you will get reasonable marks. Quite fair. The version number two of the question one, the first requirement, for example, is the risk of material misstatement. However, in this requirement, the examiner states that the materiality level calculation should be based on the revenue. So not particularly difficult indeed, although slightly not particularly standardized, but uh, it's okay. Now, the next requirement is to explain why the goodwill is a risk of material misstatement. I mean, to determine the goodwill, there'll be lots of different accounting policies that we need to use, we can choose from. So, for example, to measure the NCI at the same time to consider, for example, if there are any sort of considerations which may be deferred or contingent, of course, easily go wrong. And of course, the determination of the net asset of a target company being acquired that may be subject to further mistakes. Now, if you can bring the content into your answer, of course, you can score reasonable marks on that. In terms of questions in the AAA paper, the version number one, ISA 550 related parties actually came up. And of course, in our mock exam, we've got uh, a very similar question on that. The part of the requirement is to explain the difficulties in identifying these transactions, and part B, with regards to all the procedures of the related parties. Now, very, very standardized. I'm sure that you've done well. However, so the next requirements, so in the case scenario, it talks about the lost time injury rates, or the LTIR. Now, actually what this means is the number of injuries resulting in the employees being unable to work for a period of time. Now, if the KPI is linked with that, of course, to get the subsidy from the government later on, the management may easily manipulate the KPIs in order to get the bonuses or the subsidies. Now, the requirement actually requires you to demonstrate that how you would maintain professional skepticism about this work. Now, I would say that if your answer touches on, for example, the reason could be we need to comply with the ISA and reduce the full risk and to identify potential misstatements in the financial statement and being independent of objective, you will get very reasonable marks. The version number two for question two it's all about the sustainability reporting. I mean, this topic, the examining team has a particularly uh, well-written article on this topic, and I'm sure that you've done a very good job. The last question is the AAA exam, two versions as well. The version number one is all about the capitalized borrowing costs. So you need to determine, for example, the interest rates that you need to use and the periods that we can capitalize uh, the interest expense on the PPA. 
And number two is the matters to communicate with management of further actions. So relating to, for example, obtaining the written representations and so on. And finally, what sort of all the opinions that you need to give? Very, very standardized question. And quite fair. The version number two, all about the legal case, according to ICE number 37, provision accounting. And the ICE of 580, written representations, whether or not you can rely on that, of course, is the internally generated, all the evidence, you need to be very careful on that. But uh, for completeness reason, you have to obtain that written representation. But you can't solely rely on this piece of evidence. And you are also requires to make some comments about the criticism on the audit report. Now, so make sure that you're aware that the current AA exam will be very, very standardized and quite fair indeed. So no question spot, but um, tipping a few areas, the common advice will be very important to recap on. And our December 2024 AAA course is now ready. And if you want to study with my pays, and I will certainly help you out to cut your study time and to make sure that you can have a solid pass in the upcoming setting. I look forward to your exam success soon. Bye bye. APC, accounting for your future.